If you could design a hands-free shoe, how would you do it? So I started thinking, how do you get in and out of a shoe today without your hands? And you do that by taking one foot, putting it behind the heel of the other, and then yanking that foot out. And then to get back in, you slide your toes in, and then you jam your foot in the rest of the way by crushing the heel counter. And I started to realize that maybe what we should do is just design a shoe for that behavior. Tim had created this prototype and I saw this busted up Roshi that had some surgical tube wrapped around it. And it's one of those things where you just kind of have to laugh a little bit when you see it because it's just so simple and it's so smart. I'm Haley, I'm a designer and innovator in NXT space. Hi, my name is Tim and I work on a small team of exploration engineers. Hi, I'm Johnny innovator in Nike Taiwan Innovation. As I started working with Tim, I realized it was going to involve like a ton of math. At one point, he presented a full page math equation and was like, no problem, like this is what you have to do. And I was like, Johnny is kind of like a very similar minded person. We had this really awesome collaboration where we would send over our ideas to him and be like, what do you think? Do you think we can make this? And then we would wake up in the morning and get an email and it would just be full of like 20 ideas from his team. So this is essentially a giant rubber band. We call it the tensioner, but it holds tension on the shoe in both the open position and the closed position. The hinge here is what gives the shoe kind of space to open and close. And we've created like some nice geometry here that creates a really stable base when you move your foot in and out. One of the challenges was it needs to look like a full product, not like a broken shoe. Most challenges come from the tension thing. So when we do one sizes, it works perfectly. But when you start grading, you still need to keep the aesthetic and design. But elastic band doesn't follow that rules. So you have to consider how I scale up the tensioner, but without losing the function and aesthetic. The original concept around this shoe was to support our adaptive athletes better. And we just quickly throughout the process found that this shoe was really universal. Everyone around the table would be like, oh, I like need this shoe. I have kids and this would save my life in the morning. So I just see that kind of trickle down effect. If you always design for the most extreme case, that's the hardest thing to do. And then it opens it up to everybody. 